What's up, y'all? It's your boy Ido Tone, and we here live at my Misfit Easy. I mean, like we here for the fashion show. You feel me? Fashion show expo. Fashion show expo. Fashion show expo, man. Like, first of all, let me just say, honored to be here. You know, my boy, thank you for bringing me out. Appreciate it. You know, we gotta rep Philly. But without further ado, who am I? You don't won't believe who I'm sitting here with. We've chatted. We've messaged. But this is the first time we meet in live in person. Uh, we've actually been on the what the Misfit uh, podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we was up, we was chilling yeah, on there, vibing yeah. to the music. Not, yeah. e not even knowing, I'm coming to Philly. Remember, I'm talking to you about coming to Alabama. Yeah, but it turns out I'm coming here, and I hate that I, I missed your event last yeah, week. It's not all even good. knowing, it's all good. Yeah. Shout out to our distillistic composter right behind right, you, right there. Right, right. Can't can't get the poster. Okay. <laughs> but nah, but, but I'm. It's, it's just cool to finally meet you. You know what it, I mean? It, it's a pleasure, but yeah, it's man. definitely a pleasure. And it's actually a, p a pleasure to be at New Game Studios with you, like at the, Yo, at the Misfit event. This place is a dope spot. And this is so a dope spot. It's this chill. Is all, this is all new to me, though. See, this is my first event, first time lunching a brand. Okay. First time out here in Philly. All right, say less, say less, <laughs> say less. You know what? I'm just, well, first of all, welcome to Philly. That's number one. Number two, when do you leave? Because before you leave, you gotta get a Philly cheesesteak. Oh, I'm here. Oh, you here? I'm here. You here? Here. You gotta get a Philly cheesesteak before you depart this city. What's okay? up with the cheese whiz? No, first of all, don't don't ask that. I don't know who told you about cheese whiz, <laughs> but they 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 they, 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 they frauding on you, all right? They they telling you some lies out here, all right? Who okay. told you about cheese whiz? Because that ain't real. <laughs> Cheese whiz is a myth, okay? If you go to, if you get cheese whiz on your cheesesteak, that's a problem. Look, okay. <laughs> all right. Nah, no, you want no, you want real cheese on that bitch, all right? Right. <laughs> you want real cheese on that bitch. Yeah. So I, I went in. They said you, you got to get a, a real Philly. I said okay. So what's a real Philly? They said put cheese whiz on it. Who said that? Who said that? Uh, it was world. Who? Real, real. cheesesteak do not no, got cheese no, whiz on it. I don't know where no, they heard this. No. But don't what, take that. That mushroom. You, no, no, she's saying everything you went wrong. To Max's? I've never heard of cheese whiz at he Max's. Took, he took me there. Y'all, y'all know. I never heard of cheese whiz at Max's. Yeah. No, 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 Yo. no. Oh, you, you just gonna you dip? Just you just gonna dip, bro? That's crazy. How am I supposed to know? <laughs> nah, but, right, you know, that's cool. That's cool. We gonna we gonna educate you real quick. We gonna okay. educate you, right? No, nah, you want it, you want all the fixings, whether you go to Max's or anything else. But if you want a real deal Philly cheesesteak, you can go to Max's in them. But you want to go to a poppy store. All right, okay. they gonna hook it up. They say, hey, pa, que se pa, que se pasó, pa, pa, uh, right, like right, whatever right. they, whatever you want to say. Right. No, I'm just playing. Don't no, really no, say no. that. <laughs> no, but but okay. So the thing is, I don't eat beef anyway. Okay. But for my birthday, I try the Philly cheesesteak for the. For, okay, for, I respect that. Respect yeah, that. Yeah, I respect so, that. So, um, well, how was your first experience? Did you did you get the cheese whiz? No, we got uh, provolone. Oh uh, yeah, no, you good. No, no, you white. straight. Then you set. You straight. Yeah, you straight. Cause I wasn't really familiar about the you know cheese whiz. Yeah. Uh, but don't walk in the shot. <laughs> 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 Yo, nah, it's all good. I don't really matter. Okay, okay. <laughs> but nah, but yeah, so. so. I got the, um, I just went for my birthday for the first time, but see, he made me wait, and y'all saying I waited for no reason. What do you mean, waiting for no reason? Like, I'm saying because you said I should have tried somewhere else. Nah, no, nah, I ain't saying all that. I'm saying, wait, where did you went to Max's, right? Right. Max's is legit. Okay, okay. Max's is legit. But you want a good, you want a chimney cheesesteak for a good price? Right. Right? And you that was 20, that, it was like twenty three dollars. Yeah, no, you go to the poppy store. You get a whole platter for like ten. Okay. You go to the whole platter for like ten. That's ten. For ten. You get a cheesesteak and you get. But it was so big. I had to split it with him. I yeah, no, yeah. you do get your bank for your buck. I don't know, bro. We can... No, yo, wait, wait, wait. wait. You gonna walk away? You gonna hey, talk yo, about my? Yo, <laughs> yo, you gonna talk later? Hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was misfit. That, that was, was misfit, misfit y'all. Yo, he he right here running around he, he, misfit. Yeah, he out here doing what he got to do to make sure this show is happening. You feel me? But we, I really appreciate him having us here. Definitely. I, because, I, like I said, this is a first for me. 
and it could have been better, but it could have been worse. Right. It's all an experience, a journey, and I just, I, I appreciate, I didn't have any models, I don't know anybody. So without, without us coming together and, and branching off, I can't, I just can't wait till I'm the one that's putting y'all in the building. Bro. Let me know. I'm look, I'm look, look. The plan is to come to Alabama next year. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to. I'm trying to cut. Wait. The, I'm, my, my my math might might be mathing right now. Alabama. Atlanta's in Alabama, right? No, or is that? Okay. Atlanta is next to Alabama. Oh, it's next like to Alabama. Oh, that's Alabama. Georgia. You, that's know, right. you know how y'all can jump from uh, New York mm -hmm. to DC. Because I'm coming. I'm coming down there next year because I got to go to the uh, convention down there next year called MomoCon. I gotta go. Okay. Is it, is it at the BJCC or something? Yeah, yeah. They actually having it this weekend right now. Mm. Yeah, so I'm gonna make it next year though. I'm gonna make it, it next year. Be, it, it, they they first started having Comic Con events. It, it used to be free. Mm -hmm. And then nobody knew. You know what I'm saying? That's because, so, that's because so, it was a well kept secret. So I'm so just I'm just amazed at how the South is getting like. But it like it took like it took for me to leave to be able to just get this yeah exactly See what i'm saying mm -hmm. there's nowhere where i can go into in a place an event and just get models to wear my like in alabama yeah, yeah, and i've been you, and i know yeah. two thousand people so mm -hmm. i'm just thankful for being able to have that mm -hmm. but i do want to take everything i'm learning and plant that seed back in alabama you know what i'm saying no as you should yeah as you should. But I don't. I don't plan on. Vis I plan on visiting, but I plan on visiting Philly as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is this is my new home until the business plan is fulfilled. Okay. 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 I respect that. Yeah. Well, welcome to Philly for sure. That's number one. Right. So I'll be one. reaching out to you with you know what I'm saying. It's just to, you know barter with each other, support each other. I'm, hey, you know, you never know. 24 hour turnarounds, I might be calling you. Hey, can you show up to my event? Hey, Joe, I'll show up. I ain't got no problem. I ain't doing nothing, I'll be there. I ain't yeah. doing nothing, I'll be there. Okay, so what, what, what was the, what was the most tedious, but most, um, I want to say, like, like, um, they say it's small thing, small things you shouldn't worry about. Yo, hey, okay, yo, sorry, just don't walk in front of the camera, guys. Don't walk yo, in front of the camera. Yo. <laughs> you good? You good? You good? You good? <laughs> right, 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 right. Hey, that's JRG. Yeah. Hey, he's also been on on the. Um, on the podcast, all of us the been on the podcast. Yeah, we together. all been on the podcast. Yeah, 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 yeah. man. Yo, it's definitely like we gonna have to have you sit down, bro, because we this is the first time us meeting in person. Yeah, everybody so, here for the first time. I've been on the podcast like twice now, so right. Been, it's been I've enjoyed myself each time. So. Yeah. So, but what I what I was asking you was with your event, what are the, what are some things that you wish you would have knew? Like like I said that I wish some things I could have prepared better for or planned. Was there anything that hinder you from uh, under prep preparation, you know, prepare? Ah, that's a good question. I'm going to be real. I don't really think I messed up anywhere. Like, not, 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 it's not to say like I'm trying to be sound cocky or anything. Like, that's not what it is. That's that's I what I needed to hear, yeah, though. That's not, that's not what it is. I just, like, I felt like because I took my time for so long studying all these kinds of conventions and everything and getting my getting my mind right for it, I was like, all right, I gotta need this. I need this. Where do I do this? Where do I do this? I know this person. I know these people. Let's connect. I'm gonna bring these people in and connect with these people. I was like, and then everybody wanted to help. So I kind of feel like I'm starting to build my own community with that, which is like, I had a community. I knew that, but like now it's like coming into fortune. <laughs> So like I'm bringing that into for, uh, like that community's like I've seen it now mm -hmm. like I've seen it like you think you know it's just numbers when it's online mm -hmm. but like now I feel like I the impact yeah I felt really felt it up like people I met at this convention this convention my boy who lives in uh, Baltimore he came down he like bro I'm not missing this mm -hmm. I had people I had people come from out from Jersey from Delaware like I'm like I'm not missing this we're here for yeah. you. And they helped me set up the day of and everything because they was like, yo, where do you need us? I'm like, what do you need us to do? Like, even the people who was in cosplay, I'm like, yo, y'all just have to do cosplay. He was like, no, like, what do you need help with? Mm -hmm. So 
It was just like, it was a vibe. I had a food truck out there selling food. Everybody enjoyed the food. Food was dope. Mm -hmm. Food was dope. And I think it was just the vibe that we put out. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Only, you know what? I will say this, though. There is something that next year I could add. An actual continuous DJ. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's the only thing. Like, I didn't have, like, a set playlist of music or anything like that. Okay. Cause I would, which, like, well, I, would you, I know well, my would music. you podcasting? But, but you were having to wear multiple hats that day. Yeah. See, and it's crazy because it's like with, with you podcasting, you could be, you could, <laughs> you could be. You good. <laughs> You're not, yeah, not yeah, 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 yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to put some chairs up. Sorry. Like, <laughs> what did we miss? Look like we got oh, some youngers kids, on the table. The kids up there. Okay, the kids up there vibe. Yeah. <laughs> you know the energy? Okay. Okay. Hey. Okay, the kids vibe. I feel yeah. the kids vibe. Right. Yeah, but when it comes to that, definitely a continuous DJ. Mm. Because <laughs> I was like, I was like, oh, I yeah. forgot about music. And yeah. that, that's probably the one thing I would take away from that. Yeah. A DJ. Yeah. Or someone to just like be in charge of the music continuously. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I think that would be like the biggest thing I can. I can okay, okay. Update. Other than that, I think it went off perfectly. There's some small things here and there, but I always expect things to like not go always according to plan. So, that I always expect the unexpected. Same here. So Same I'm like, you here. never know, something's gonna happen. So I'm mm -hmm. like, I'm just ready for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Same here. I, I moved here ready for it. So it's just right. like, you see, uh, it, it, this is all. When I when I get leave here, I know where I'm finna go work at. Like, right. you, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. I, like I, but I, if I never take this step, I won't know what I need to work on. Exactly. So that's why I asked you that because it's like the least of my worries. I've had to do so much. I know so much now. So yeah. once I get that, like you said, that community, which is coming so easy here. Like even with a t-shirt shop, flips. Shout out to Flipside Design LLC. Right. The guy's uh, mom is the wholesale owner of the. Oh, okay, sweet. Yo. Okay, okay. I get what you're putting down. I get what you're putting down. Thanks. So it's just like, what's your Instagram? Every, everywhere I go. Oh, grind season oh, on the porch podcast. Okay, I want to know more. I say me too. So can you? It's just like yeah. I'm trying to get there, and when I tell them that, I they like, well, you already doing it, and I'm like, how? They say grind season. You took the step. <laughs> yeah, you did. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> but yeah, man, I, uh, it was very nice to meet you. I appreciate you for. No, uh, definitely. Uh, we got to get up. Um, we definitely got to get up. Definitely. I got two more events coming. Uh, uh, one in the end of the summer and one in the fall. Okay. Uh, I definitely think you'll be more interested in the fall one though. Uh, okay. We're gonna do like a fashion show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're gonna do we're gonna do a fashion show. But this I'm I'm putting my own spin on it because you know what I do is like yeah. anime and all that. You put so, yeah, art, so, our art. Huh? I said just what we call our art. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna do a spin on that with that. And we're gonna see what happens. I'm already in the works with it, so I would love to have you there. So. Mm, okay, okay. I will. I will be there. Just uh you know hit you know how to find me. Yo, yeah, you know I do. Just, right. I'm gonna hit you up. All yeah, right. We just gotta work out the the details and with my because my brother, he's gonna do be the one to help me get the models. I'm gonna get the cosplayers and we just gonna blend okay. the And I I just actually reconnected with him, got his info. Yeah. He said he will model. He oh, will right. be a model. All right, well, then I'm gonna have yeah, we're gonna have to get so up with him too. Have Yep. Community. Exactly. <laughs> community. <laughs> community. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Uh, before, oh, one last thing before you go, though. You got to answer this question. Okay. All right. I did a little spin on it. Normally, I ask this question to anybody, and normally it's anime based, but we want to change it a little bit. All right. If you had to choose, what's your top three favorite black sitcoms? Black sitcoms. Okay. Woo. I want to say. I'm just gonna say Martin because you, That's you can always laugh with Martin. Two Wayne brothers. Okay. And three, I'm gonna have to pick. Like I gotta choose wisely with three. Uh, 
uh, different strokes. Does it count? Okay, yeah. Okay, different I'll strokes. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, out of those three, though, which one would you binge? Which one is kind of cringe? And which one, if you have to, and you have to, throw it away. It's trash. I out of your I top three. I throw away different strokes only because they got the, you know, they got the, okay, uh, the, okay, the, the okay. story. That's respect. That's yeah. respect. And then uh, the one that I'm always keeping, like I said, I can turn on Martin just as well as I can turn on some rain and just laugh and go Okay, so Martin it. is the binge. What about, so, so <laughs> the cringe is way in, brothers. <laughs> All right, all right. There was some cringy moments in that, that show, especially yeah. Pops was out of pocket. Yeah, Pops was out of pocket. And why I never seen the mama, the wife? Oh, apparently she died long ago. Uh, okay, I yeah. don't know the whole full story. Right. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> you <high. laughs> Nah, but no, nah, thank you for answering that question. That's a, that's a question I ask anybody that comes on the, uh, like the live versions or the small interviews of the podcast. So. Okay, okay, okay. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Thank you, man. Thank you. All right, y'all already know who it is. Your boy, Ideal Tone, here with Benja Cringe Live. And we here with? Shy Kid. Shy Kid. One and only right. from Phoenix. Right. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, man. So what you do, man? Um, I'm an artist, an independent musician. I do um, website designing. I do uh, photography, videography, um, everything pretty much. Okay, okay, all right. We out here then. We out here. We I, I love the, the I love the different blends of culture and everything and all of the, like the artistic blends. Mm. That's not that's not helping. <laughs> oh man, it's gonna be like that all night. But it's yeah. cool. <laughs> we work it out. <laughs> Nah, man, but nah, man, I'm glad you uh, glad you decided you want to sit down with me and everything. Let's talk, man. Thanks for having me, so, man. Uh, so, one, uh, tell you a little bit about this podcast. This podcast is definitely like anime and animation-based, whatever. Right. So, uh, but we do a lot. We talk about a lot of different stuff, man. We talk mm-hmm. about, like, uh, gaming, a lot of annotations. Uh, but, you know, but there, you know, we had a fashion show today. My boy, right. my, my fit. My, I'm sorry, I'm saying my fit. Wow. Uh, misfit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That means I'm talking too much. Shout out Misfit. <laughs> Misfit, he out here. He brought me out. Known, known Misfit since high school, man. Oh wow. Y'all we go. Back. Me and him go back. Me and him go back. And like we didn't used to, we didn't run in the same circles in the beginning. But then right. like you know, at towards like the end, of, like mm-hmm. what is it? Like junior, senior year, mm-hmm. we started running in similar circles, whatever. Right. So at that point, everybody knew everybody. So, mm-hmm. but yeah, man, like. That's how I know him. I'm glad he brought me out to talk to y'all, uh, you know, all the artists and uh, models and everybody here. And, you know, I love the I love the vibe in the community here, man. So, well, what, so you here as a spectator today, man, or um, I'm an artist. Uh, right. I just performed first. I, you know, set the tone for everything, and you know, I love the energy. I love the presence. You know, I I love this hip hop stuff for real. You know, okay, so I, okay. I don't, you know, what I mean, I don't do it for play. Like I I love this. Like, how long have you been? How long have you been at it? Um. I wrote my first song when I was eight, and then um, I recorded my first song when I was like 15, 16, and then from there on, I was like, I really want to do this. Okay, okay. All right, so you've been at it for a minute. You've been grinding yeah, for a little yep, bit. That, I respect that, man. It's, just, it's not easy, man. Yeah, it's not it's easy. It's not man. easy, man. I know, like, if I had to be, because I tried my hand at making music once. Mm-hmm. It's not something I want. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's not something I'm like, yeah. It's not one of my. I'm not saying that was a, a proud moment, but I'm not saying it was a proud moment either. Right. I enjoyed doing it, mm-hmm. but I already knew it was something I was just doing just to do, just to yeah, have just fun. Just to have fun with it. But like, I always wanted to experience it because like I wanted to see what like everybody else who loves doing it like mm-hmm. what they experience. Because real talk, I love music. Right. I love Same music. here. I love music. I may not be always like writing and everything, but like I love to talk about music. I love right. listening to music. I love to like really break music down when it actually has meaning behind it. Like I love music, man. Yeah, you know, even with music, it's important. Like even as an artist now, like I'm a, I rap and everything, but it's important to um, also branch into other genres too as an artist. You know, you can't just be a one lane artist. So I try to expand to doing um, house music, EDM, or country, rock. Okay. Okay. You know, just expanded my. Um, 
what do you call it? Um, my catalog. You know, yeah, I don't yeah. want to just be the one artist that's stuck in one box. Yeah, what do they call it? Complacency. You don't want to be like, yeah, yeah. I don't want to be that artist that's like, okay, this is all he do. I yeah, want to look at me and be like, yo, this dude has a serious catalog of um, music. You know, it's not just he's not content with being just one person. Right. Nah, man, I respect that. I respect yeah. that, man. So you say you, but you say that's not all you do, man. You say you do music. Well, before I ask that question, let me ask this first. Then, what's your, like, what's one of your favorite like projects that you've ever done, and what's it about? Um, you said one of my projects. Yeah. Um, that's a tough one because I, I like everything I do. Um, but my all-time favorite, I would say, it's my um first album, my first uh, debut album, Mute. Okay. Um, I was going through a tough time in my life, you know, mentally and everything. So I put that album out and I, you know, I instantly knew it was like a classic and that helped me get through my, my, my dark times because, you know, I was putting out my experiences on the, you know what I'm saying, on the, um, in the booth. And I was just letting people know like, hey, look, this is what I was going through. This is what I was dealing with. So that's why it's my all time favorite. <laughs> it's all good, brother. Oh man, <laughs> they'll get it eventually. Yeah, eventually they'll be like, maybe I should put some like. <laughs> Facts. I'll give you that. <laughs> I'll give you that. Maybe I should put like blue tape down there or something like yeah. that. Yeah, they be like, oh, I like put a chair. I'm like put a chair right there. <laughs> but nah, man. All right, I respect that, man. It sounds like that was a really like important project that you had yeah, to do. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I, I, I have to say that project was the start of my healing journey. Okay. You know, dealing with fake friends and that kind of stuff. Okay. I respect that, man. It's, and I always like answering stuff like that because, like, I feel like it, and not to get too personal, but get personal enough, like, okay, what, what motivated you? Right. Like, you can say, but that's your favorite album, but why? And that's why I always ask people, right. like, why? What motivated you to make it? And what made it your favorite, you know? Mm. So I respect you answering that, man. But you, he's like, but not to so just to wrap it up like final question bro like you say you dabble on other stuff what are you doing right now um besides music i'm working on my clothing brand um icon um i'm gonna drop that pretty soon i got some other stuff growing behind the uh, scenes business wise so um and then besides that i also have my fourth studio album dropping in july okay. so I'm, I'm working on that too all right say less man say less man Sound like you got a lot on your plate coming yeah, up, Yeah, I man. do. They got a lot of, are you Philly based or? Huh? Are you Philly based? Mm. Okay, no, I mean like you live in Philly. Yeah, yeah, I'm, you? I'm in Philly. Yo, are you Philly? All right, then. We, definitely, we, definitely, we definitely got a link up, man. I got some stuff coming that like I feel like you could be a part of. Okay. So, uh, like one, um, just like uh, just like my boy mm -hmm. throwing this, I'm doing my own fashion show eventually okay. in the fall. But uh, that is going to be a mixture of like anime and fashion. You know what okay. I mean? So we going, we, it's going to be a little bit different than what the yeah, norm is. Right. It's going, but it's going to be entertaining in its own way. Yeah, I like that. I like people that go against the grain and do their own thing, and not just stick to the standard. You know? Right. Right. That's the plan. The plan is to go against the grain because I ain't trying to be like the norm. Let's yeah. Just, the norm. Normal is not fun. <laughs> exactly. So, but yeah, thank you for joining us, man. Uh, right, thank you, man. Uh, uh, just tell everybody where they can find you, man. Got you. You can follow me um, on Instagram, all my social platforms, uh, Shy Kid MZK. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, pretty much the main sites. All right, say less. Well, as always, it's your boy Ideal Tone, and this is the live version of Benja Cringe at Misfit Espo. All right, catch y'all. Peace. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Ideal Tone, and we here with. Quadir. All right, man. So we here at, you know, man, I don't even know why I keep saying it, but I'm gonna keep saying it anyway. We here at Misfit Easy Fashion Expo, and you know, this gentleman right here, he had a line for the Fashion Expo, and it was pretty sick, man. I I love watching the different like designs and everything, man. So how long you been at it? Uh, I've been at it for years, ever since, really since 2013, but I ain't really started taking it serious until tw uh, 2017. Okay, okay. All right, so you started taking it serious, uh, serious not too long ago, but like you got definitely got like a foot under you. You know what I mean? So that's what it sounds like to me. So, like I saw some of your different designs and every what's the inspiration behind them? 
Uh, the inspiration, uh, I would say really just, so my, my brand is a lifestyle brand. You okay. Know, it's really based on my uncle lifestyle. I got two brands. It's called uh, Nija My Regular, Never uh, Nija My Regular French, Never Settle in French, and then the other one is Look Last of Our Kind. Okay. Uh, Look Last of Our Kind is really like a thing of like feeling like you the last of who you are and stuff like that. You might feel that vibration through the through uh, you know what I'm saying through the universe talking to people. And I, I explained it again. Never Settle is you know my uncle thing. He he came up with the. With the name, I did all the designs. I went to school for art. Art was always in me. He always looked in. He always like. He always was like, you know, pushing me. He was the battery in my back and what I was doing. Okay. Okay. All right. So, so that's so your uncle. Your uncle. The reason why you kept pushing. He was. He's he basically like the inspiration for you. Right yeah. Okay. Okay. I respect that, man. That's that's commendable, man. Definitely. Definitely. Um, I am sorry for your loss, though, but, like, definitely, I'm, I'm pretty sure he'd be proud of you right now. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. So, but other than that, man, like, what else do you, like, do you get it from, like, your everyday life besides that, or? Um, like, so my, my inspiration? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, my inspiration really just come off of what I see every day. Like, me, I'm into, like, I'm into, like, so my look last of our client brand is really, like, you got your graffiti type but not really graffiti it's more so the street urban street gritty uh uh gothic type type style okay uh, okay so nija ma nija ma is really the simple and like designer style so it's like kind of combining both of them together the street life and, and, and the elegance the, the tradition and yeah the quality and everything okay okay all right so i see you so but hey but yeah, man, so other than that, man, like, so you got that, your inspiration comes from your everyday life and everything. Is there anything that you want to do moving forward? Uh, just pushing through with this, uh, hopefully going bigger. Uh, people could, people, most, I'm, I'm kind of like almost well known in the city in like multiple different ways from the clothing stuff, who just know me as a kid, my uncle, uh, just all the multiple stuff. Uh, so I'm just trying to go hard with this. This is my other uncle right here. He rap. Okay. How you doing? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He he play another part in, in, in what I do too, cause he rap and stuff like that. Always keeping that that other battery in my back. Okay. Okay. All right, man. Well, it looks like you got a lot of ideas growing up in that head for future plans and everything. That's great. Um, it is awesome to de be able to talk to you and like definitely see your designs here at uh, the expo. Anything you want to say before like I let you go? Uh. No. Uh, follow my Instagram, uh, Chase X Cash with an e, e at the end. Okay. Uh, for those who follow, uh, you know what I'm saying? If you see anything you like on my page, just uh, reach out to me through the DM. The website will be up very soon. Uh, after my uncle passed, you know, my website was down because, you know, it's a long story with that, but yeah. All right, well. One thing before I let you go, though, all right? You got to answer two questions for me, all right? all right? Everybody on Benja Cringe Podcast got to answer these questions. All right, so what's your top three, and I do mean top three, favorite black sitcoms? Sitcoms? Yeah. yeah. Uh, it could be old, new. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a good question. Uh, uh, third Strike, Third Strike, well, uh, what's the boy's name? Third Strike. I know the show. Yeah, yeah. yeah I know yeah. the show. I, I love it. I love it, Joe. Uh, I'll say anything with Martin in it. Uh, okay. Oh, you want to just say Martin in it? Yeah, Martin right. uh, and Dave Chappelle and stuff. The, Ch the, Ch the Chappelle show? Yeah. Okay. Okay, respect, respect, yeah, 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 respect. Yeah, yeah. All right, you might hate me after this question, though. Yeah. All right, out of those three, which ones is binge, which one you would cringe, and which one you have to throw it away? Not easy, I'm sorry. <laughs> so you said, what was the first question? All right, you can binge watch it. The first one, you can binge it. Like, what that mean? Like, you can watch it nonstop. Exit, exit, uh, third strike. Third, third strike. strike? Yeah, okay. Which one's cringe? Like, you can watch it, but you can't watch everything because some of it's like, uh, why did that happen? Martin. Martin? Martin's 
shit stuff with Martin in it. All right, so the third one is trash then. Yeah, I love uh, Dave Chappelle, but some stuff he be in is like. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I mean, I mean right. myself personally, I probably would have chose Dave to Chappelle. It's cringe. That's just me though. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's just me though. But all right, I respect your answers, man. Thanks for playing, and you know, thank you for letting me interview, man. I appreciate it. All right. But as always, it's your boy Ideal Tone, and I just made that note. We are here with a live episode of Benjamin Cringe. Later. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Ideal Tone, and we back, and we're here with Pretty Galore. Okay, okay, what? what? She see you saw the way she said that. <laughs> she out here trying to mesmerize me. We need to stop that. <laughs> All right, so you're obviously an artist. You're here with me and yes. among other people yes. at Misfit uh, Expansion Expo. So, what brings you out here? So, in support of Misfit's brand and the fashion shows, because I'm a part of their label, and he wanted me to come out, meet all of his friends out here from Philly, network, um, see who's all in the community. Earlier, we did an event at um, North Philly Peace Park, and so I performed a little earlier there, and so that's why I'm pretty much here to meet everybody, okay, let them okay. hear my music. Um, learn more about other artists here too. So, okay, cool. It's cool. been good. I love Philly so far. Oh, you love? I how love long y'all staying everything. actually? Huh? How long y'all gonna be in town actually? I know y'all just got here. I'm leaving right? later on after like towards the middle of the after party. Okay. Because I'm from Ohio, so I gotta get right. back. But okay, well, definitely will me, be back. I love. Tell it. me, you at least had a Philly cheesesteak while you was out here. Uh, no, <laughs> I got one for my daughter though. I don't eat pork. Or beef. Oh, okay. But okay. I get, I'll, I let, I'll, I'll let it slide just for that. Just for that reason. <laughs> just for that reason. Wait, no, 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 wait. It you don't eat pork so or beef? Good. Right. You ain't yeah. get a chicken? I got chicken, yeah. I got um some fried shrimp from this one place. I forgot what it was called. Okay. No, but I mean like, like a, a chicken, a Philly chicken cheesesteak. Oh no. You could have did chicken. I could have. Ain't nobody did told you that? No. That's crazy. You could have did chicken. We do chicken too. Okay. Should have got that. Yeah, it's all good. Didn't even though. think about it, but but definitely yeah. next time. Definitely sure. next time. Definitely next time. But the chicken, yeah, you gotta do chicken. Then. I understand and you don't eat the real food. authentic Philly spots because it's multiple out here. What's so the here's best the thing: one? if anybody <laughs> ever offer you motherfucking cheese whiz, you say no. Like if they try to put cheese whiz <laughs> I heard on your that cheese steak, so if, you don't. If they put try to put whiz. cheese whiz on your cheese steak, just walk out. We just just walk out. <laughs> just don't don't even bother. Okay, it need to be real. It gotta be that real cheese. provolone, that real melted that, cheese. That real melted cheese. They don't even have to be provolone as long as it's that real melted cheese. Don't get that. Don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. It's diabolical. Right, I mean, no, that's for crackers. Why would why you put that on crackers? Why would you do that? Uh, watch the camera, guys. Watch the camera. That's all right. <laughs> but um, no, like. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, yeah, definitely get a chicken cheese steak yeah. next time. It's it, it it'll set you right. It's such I'm trying trust me, trust me. And when you okay. do it, like I don't know, like do you like spicy? I don't like spicy food. You don't That's like spicy crazy. food? All right, just don't I just don't. don't. Cause I can't take it. Like I'm a, I'm a All right, just don't get I the can't. hot sauce on it. Just get like the onions and peppers. Okay. Right, don't do the hot sauce. I'll uh, keep that in mind because I do not like spicy stuff. <laughs> I got you. It gives me heartburn like I can't. Like right. too, too intense. Like I like like mild stuff like that. Like, I respect that. Not everybody can handle spicy, which is yeah. fine as long as you know what you can handle. Yeah. So, all right. So, you're an artist. You're from Ohio. We know this so yes. much about you. We know your name. We know you're here from Misfit and like what he's doing with the brand and the Fashion Expo. Yes. So here's my question. So you've done projects before. Obviously, what's one of your favorite projects when it comes to being doing music? My favorite projects that I've done, like my favorite song. Yeah, yeah. My favorite song by me is Overthinker, what I just performed tonight. Okay, okay. And Which was fire, another, by the way. Thank you. No another one is, another favorite is Fave Sneaky Link. Okay. I'm actually going to perform that one later because I wanted to save it because oh, it's be not kid party. friendly. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Okay, no, no, I'm with it. Yeah. I'm with it. I wanted to perform that so bad here at the mm. fashion, but it's kids here. Yeah, definitely. But I really you, love that you gotta, one. You got to respect and love the kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, you know, you don't they want no. They was turned with their little song, too. Yeah. Oh, no, their, their song. song. They was lit. I was like, right. hey. <laughs> No, I definitely was feeling the vibes with them. Okay, but that's so the song you dropped tonight was your favorite. Was was that the one that um I was told y'all did like to like and until four y'all you didn't go to bed to four a.m. because y'all did it like last night or something like that. Was that the one or was it a different one? Uh, no, it wasn't that one. 
Who, Misfit told you that? I, I don't reveal my no. sources. <laughs> I don't reveal my sources. No. no, it didn't take very long to record it or anything. Yeah. Okay, okay. All right, so what, what's your least favorite project and why? My least favorite? <laughs> uh, my least favorite project is can't get over you only because of the quality like okay. in the studio i went to because you know i was just starting out okay and it sounds horrible <laughs> but hey ain't nobody worse than their own ain't nobody everybody's their own worst critic every yeah. time trust yeah. me i know i know the feeling yeah i definitely got to re-record it at a <laughs> and now that like um more experienced kind of like i think i would make it sound way better and doper so i gotta go back okay, and record okay, it definitely okay i understand that and i respect that so well it was good talking to you number one okay yes, absolutely. i can't wait to see you perform the other song later yes uh, at the after party but um obviously tell us where we can find you yes so you can find me on instagram at v t h e pretty galore G A L O R E underscore. Okay, cool. Yeah. But before I let you go, you gotta answer this question. Yes. All right. You're on Venture Cringe. This question it goes to everybody who ever shows up even once. Ask Marcus. He still hates me, fans. <laughs> uh, ask Misfit. I mean. But um. All right. So here's my question. But I'm doing this little spin. Usually it's anime related. We're not gonna do that to y'all. Just just in case y'all don't watch anime. So, what's your top three favorite black sitcoms? Rap sitcoms? Black. Like oh, black, sitcom. black sitcoms. Martin, The Cosby Show, and A Different World. A di oh, okay. Respect. <laughs> Respect. Different World. Okay, you're the first one to say that. All right. So so far, not to say like that's not in their top three, but like not everybody's going to remember, usually remembers it, but it's a hit. It's a yeah, hit. Yeah. All right. Here's I my like second it. question. I'm a little young. Well, not really. I'm getting old. I'll oh. be 30 in November, but I, I watched the rerun episodes everything. I watched it as a kid. It's so. a good show. It's a good show. It's a good show. Now, Maybe want to go to college and everything. <laughs> yeah, that's, that, I think that's I think when that's the college... Everybody. That's what made the college boom happen in the 80s and the 90s. And come to find out when we got older, college is nothing like that. <laughs> they don't, we don't have that much fun. Yeah, it's fine though. <laughs> but I must uh, ask the second part of the question. You ready? Out of those three, which is binge, cringe, and the third one you have to trash? Cringe, like binge watch. Yeah, you can binge watch it. Then the third, second one is like a cringe. I can't You'll choose watch the same it. one. I can watch Martin over and over and, all the seasons. Okay. <laughs> Martin, the Parkers. Um, what else? Which one's cringe out of those three? Oh, one, Martin. Huh? Martin out of all of those three. Martin's the binge? Which the, all right, which one's the second one, the cringe? The second one is... That's tough. That's a lot. Did you give me three? Oh, the Cosby Show. The Cosby the Show? One. Cosby yeah. Show's great. Okay. Okay. So that means you trash in a different world, right? <laughs> no, I'm not. You, it's you, no, 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 no. You don't mean you're a different world got to go. But then again, there wouldn't be no Cosby. There wouldn't be no different world without the Cosby without Show. Without the Cosby, right? So, I mean, it, it's a valid answer. That's yeah. a valid answer. Yeah. So I give you that. But thanks for playing. I appreciate you. Absolutely. Uh, sitting thanks with me. so much for having so. me and taking the time out to definitely, interview definitely. me. I support can't wait your to see podcast. That next I can't wait to see. Hopefully, more artists on there. I'm definitely gonna tune in. Now I'm yeah, following you. So definitely. Appreciate I hope you get the network a little more. You know everything. Yeah, so for sure. But definitely, uh, can't wait to see that next performance later. Yes. And as always, it's your boy Ideal Tone, and we are live with Benja Cringe. Later. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Ideal Tone. And we here, and you know, <laughs> I'm here to make it known. We here with Misfit, my boy, the one and only, all right? Misfit, Misfit easy, easy out here. You already know what it is. Man, it's been up. a minute, man. How you been? Man, it's my guy, bro. It's been a while. I'm good, bro. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Chilling? No, what? Wait, say that again? I'm not more important than him? I didn't say that. I was getting to I you. I was pretty sure I was, so I was just waiting to be. Okay, I was just keep, <laughs> continue to wait. You got it. You got it. Straight you up got shots it. to itty bitty Ree. <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> nah, but nah, Ree, it's good to see you too. Like, how long has, like, it's been a long time since I've seen the both of y'all. <laughs> yeah, man. For, for a little background history, we all went to high school together. You know yeah, what I mean? Straight. So, straight up, shout yeah, out to that. Um, this is definitely nostalgia. Like, Capital was something different, man. Yeah. Kappa was, was funny. You asked me was 
Well, something about capital, like basically, bottom line was capital. Like, well, shit, wasn't shit. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Don't get me wrong. I love my alma mater, bro. Like, but at the same time, yeah. At the same time. It was some, it was some shit in there. We was getting away with some fucking. I didn't, I didn't finish telling the story though. No, I didn't yeah. get, get finished telling him the story. Oh, oh, the, the water jug. All right, all right, all right. First, before we get to that, bro, like, tell me what, what's this about, man? What, what made you want to do this, man? Um, all right. So uh, we started uh, the Misfit Live show last year, um, May 29th. So it'd be. Technically, three days from today will be a year um, since we started our show. And um, my goal was to create a network of artists, creators, innovators, you know what I mean? People right. that want to um, work and build together. Okay. You know what I mean? I was trying to build a network of, of like-minded people that are willing and able to move together. Okay, okay. Feel yeah, me? I feel, I feel like that. doing that, we can do anything. You know what I mean? Yeah, as man. long as we move together, we can do anything. Yeah, that network is going to, like, that network that you're trying to build is going to be beneficial to a lot of people, man. To a lot of people. I, I, I hope it is. My goal is to make it beneficial to a lot of people. You yeah, know man, what I mean? I, I want to help. Um, um, all right, quick background. Um, when I was in the fifth grade, right? Um, we had a, a, a project in school. We had to write a persuasive essay. We had to write a persuasive essay. The essay we had to write was we had to, um, the project was we had to persuade a company to do something for us. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. So, like, like obviously, it's, fair it's, a, it's a fair enough project. Yeah. Fair enough something. I'm in the fifth grade. I chose to uh, write my letter to Murder, Inc. Records. Okay. And I wanted to get signed. Shit. So, when I was in the fifth grade, I wrote Irv Gotti a, a letter. Okay. And he responded to me. Oh, snap. He responded to me. I was in the fifth grade. And um, when he responded to me, like while most people would be like, "Oh shit, he responded," and they, they, you know what I mean? They would yeah, jump yeah. on the opportunity. You took that a little more calmly. I was like, "This nigga responded to me. That was too easy." Yeah. You feel me? That's how I looked at it. Yeah, you like rationalized it. I feel you. You yeah. feel me? I was like, "That was too easy. I need to get a. I need. I need to hit somebody bigger." <laughs> I need to hit somebody bigger. Real shit. Facts, facts. Real shit. Fuck Herb Gotti. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, I, and, and no disrespect to Herb Gotti because he responded to me. But to me, that was too easy. Like, that. No, I get it, man. You feel that was too easy. Yeah, Herb, man. You going to respond to me? The best things are ain't Fuck, that man, easy, I'm bro. To, my goal. So, so with that, with that, I, uh, I did a Google search. I said, "What's the the major labels in the world?" Right, right. And at that at that point in time, I'm in the fifth grade. I'm in the fifth grade. I'm in the fifth grade. Yeah, bro. I Google searched who was the major labels in the world, and found out that there was only four. Oh shit! Look, I'm in the oh, fifth shit. grade. It's only four major labels in the world. It's only four of them. I said, bullshit, bullshit. It's only four major labels in the world. Do y'all know what that mean? That mean four people own every artist you ever heard. Yeah. Bullshit. That's what I said in the fifth grade. Math ain't math. <laughs> math ain't math. Math wasn't mathing to me. That didn't, that didn't make sense to me. I was like. Four major labels in the world. I don't want to be under them. I want to be one of them. I want to be the fifth. Facts. Facts. I think we all should want to be the fifth. What are we looking for somebody to own us for? I'm not. Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. They own everything else. How they going to own the shit that we create ourselves? Bullshit. And that's why I started what I do. All right. 
Now that makes a lot of sense, man. I see where you headed. Bullshit. Because of bullshit. Because <laughs> of bullshit. All right. Straight like that. But now, Ray, Ray, I got a question for you. All right. So I it's know you've been. Not Bree, it's Re, it's Re, R E E, itty bitty Re, Re, Teeny Weeny, Teeny Weeny Marie. I'm lit right now. I apologize. Momo, whatever the fuck, but it ain't Bree, okay, bitch. All right, well, the most important person in this room right now. How about that? I am. <laughs> That's oh, why. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Now you speak my language. Feel me? Yeah, he understand what I'm here. Um, shape up and. Nah, so I've been, you know, I've been listening to some of your hits and your music and everything as a reason. I said hits. Yeah, I'm a, I'm, I said hits. hits. I did. I said yeah, hits I'll and music. It, you know I, mean? I said hits and music. Yeah. I said both. But no, nah, you, you got anything you're working on right now? or? I'm working on a lot of music. My first, well, my second EP should be out July 27th. Okay. It's going to be fire. I believe it. It's gonna I believe be sexy it. Sexy fire. It's going to be my, this going to be like my. Yo, how we go from fire to sexy fire? Because it's like, because <laughs> have you heard, like, you heard Midnight? Yeah. It's going to be like that, but it got worse, feel me? Okay. It's not going to get no worse than that. Right. It's going to be the worst it's going to get. That's why I'm going to get it out the way. So that way when they be like, itty bitty, is you going to like do this or do that? It's going to be like, no, bitch. Because I always tell people I'm not going to hoe unless it's for me, feel me? Facts. I'm only going to do it for me. I'm not doing it for the world, feel me? I feel so you. So I'm going to get this shit out the way because this is what I have in me to do right now. And then in the future, we're going to get to some other shit because I got some uplifting stuff. I got, I'm, I'm versatile. I got okay, stuff, okay. So I'm ready. You got to be versatile in the industry. Mm-hmm. You got to be. You got, otherwise, you, you know, you're going to miss out on something. Yeah. So what's next for you two? Oh, shit. Hey, I'm, I'm curious. I brought a property. I'm starting a, um, a black urban farm. Oh. oh. my niggas, feel me. Okay, okay. I'm like, we ain't eating no red dye in 2020, what, 2025? Y'all eating that shit in 2024. I'm see if I can get y'all on my wave. Feel me? We ain't eating that. Feel me? Mm-hmm. We're not doing these things that we've been doing, all this candy and all some healthy stuff. I've been making the red and butter and right. all this stuff from scratch because I, I, I got time, I guess. It's also fun, but it's fulfilling. So I feel like we got to we gotta take a step back from all this mass produce shit and just Yeah, man. It's killing us, man. And, and People always like, I just want to say this, people always be talking about how I'm shy and stuff, like, that's because I like to be a real person, feel me, I don't feel like anything's wrong with having real emotions, I feel like it's a problem when people make it seem like they don't feel anything, like, y'all can be out here, you can be a bad bitch, but you can be a real bitch too, so I'm just going to do both, and unfortunately, if everybody else can't get with it, that's the fuck on them. Okay, superwoman out here, I feel it. Yeah. Bad bitch, do what I want. <laughs> Alright, what about you, bro? What was the question? I was like, what's next? <laughs> what's next for me? Um, shit. Misfit 5. Misfit 5 on the way real soon. Okay. You know I mean? Okay. My goal, my goal with Misfit 5, honestly, my goal with Misfit 5 is to get as many features as possible. I would like to get as many people on this album as possible okay so that when i release it and i throw the party we can bring out as many people as possible and just have the, that that not be and crazy just have a yeah. just have a a, a a big ass event you know what i mean just have fun you know what i mean have fun with it everybody get a chance to perform for me everybody will get their own set and be able to perform along with me and we just we just have fun yeah that sounds like a you vibe what I mean? man that's like what i would like vibe. to do um and then um New Year's Ease, New Year's Ease is coming. New Year's Ease is an official album that I'm working on. Um, all original beats. Okay. You know me. Uh, we work with some some dope producers. You know what I mean? Them to put it together. All right. Um, I got a couple tracks that I that I that I'm that I'm working on. I got I got a lot of shit to be honest with you. When it comes to the music, when it comes to the music, I got music forever. All right. Say less, man. Say less. Like you know what I mean? Music. You know what I mean? I was telling somebody, I was talking, I was, I was talking to my aunt, and I was telling her, um, I think I like organizing. Okay, okay. You feel me? I like organizing. You like seeing the bigger picture and seeing it come together. Yeah, I like organizing. I like you feel and that's why um doing the podcast or having the events and throwing the shows, I think that's fulfilling to me because I like to organize. Okay. You know what I mean? I like to put shit together. I like to see people come together. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's weird. Like that's I think that's I think that's what I like to do. No, nah, no. Here's the thing. 
I understand what you're talking <laughs> about. <laughs> you feel me? I like this. I understand what together. you're talking about, bro. That's how I felt when I did uh, Idealistic Comment. Like, that's exactly how I, I was like. This joint came together because I brought these people together and they wanted to come together and to they, meet yeah, these people. I, I, I love like that. For me, that's that's been that's been doing it for me. Like if I'm being honest, that's been doing it for me. Seeing people come together, work together. Right. You know what I mean? That's that's been giving me life, a lot of life. If I'm being honest. Yeah, bro. Um, I, I I just think fully. I bro. like that. I like that a lot. Um, I think I I, I would like I would love to see things come together at a bigger scale. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Once we get to that point, it'll be, it's gonna be a lot better. But yeah. I, I, I do like, I like organizing, if I'm being honest. Yeah, man, I, I get it. Trust me, I get it. For sure, I would like, I love, I would love to see some, some more events coming. Well, I don't wanna hold you guys up for too much longer. I know we got the after party to get to and everything. Um, so two things before I let you go. One, um, if one, it don't have to be both of you. It could be just one of you. But if y'all both want to answer the question, feel free. Y'all both uh, got to answer the question. Say less. Let me. Hit, all right, I'm gonna hit y'all with it. What's your top three favorite uh, black sitcoms? It's harder for me. I don't even know. I'm not a sitcom person. I really don't watch that. But you do though. No, I watch horror. I'm like. But you uh, used to watch sitcoms. All right. Think, about, think All about it. Think All about right. old school sitcoms that you used to watch as a kid. Think about it. I didn't grow up watching that shit. All right. Well, then, all right. Your question I, difference then. Well, hope to give me th your top three horror. You give me top three. Oh, I love Michael okay. Myers. I'm really disappointed with what they did in the, like, the last one because how you going to make my nigga look like a bitch? Like, come on. Like, the dude had him in that hole. It was just, if you ain't seen it, go see it. It's Time out. Bad. Did y'all see that last Michael Myers, though? Uh, I did, bro. What, was, the so like, was what the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Michael Myers? That wasn't no Michael Myers. Trust me, that wasn't no Michael Myers. Nah, Michael Myers is a G, bro. I, I, ain't like, know. I like Scream. He funny. It's it's funny. Like, I, 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 you can't go wrong with that. It's just All right. what it is. Um, top three. Name your top three before he asks his second question. I'm going to name my top, top three. three before he asks his Yeah, so you said Michael Myers, you said Scream. Yeah, Chucky, not my top three. Child's Play, but I would kick the fuck out of this nigga, I swear to God. Like, oh, no, got first of all, up. Chucky's not a threat to anybody. He I don't really know why not. he is. Like, how y'all getting whooped on by a damn dog? I wish a nigga would, bro. It's cool. I, I don't I'm, understand. Here you go. That shit ain't scary. You said black sitcoms. Yeah. Top three N-word sitcoms. N-word. Gotta say N-word. <laughs> Top three N word sitcoms. <laughs> My top three N word sitcoms. Damn. It ain't easy. It ain't. It ain't. Cause I just I just thought of like 20. Um top three N word. You gotta go with the Wayans brothers. We're brothers. Okay. Okay. We're happy that's, and that's, we're singing that's a and classic. we're colored. Oh no! You know you can't have two funny people. Like, yeah, you gotta, one of them got to. One, one of them got to be, be like. What do you got? One of them got to be the stand-up uh, guy. Like, yeah. I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm not gonna say what I was about to say something. I know. I know. I know. Gotta get you caught it. You caught it. I caught it. Yeah, I caught um, it. <laughs> um, I would say. I fucks with Martin. You gotta fuck okay. with Martin. Okay, Martin. You know what I mean? Martin for I sure. Fuck with Martin. I ain't gonna lie. I grew up watching Martin. I'd be lying if I said I ain't seen every Martin episode. You know what I mean? Facts. Um, last, last N word sitcom. Um, it's all yo. Honestly, for me, it's always hurt hard to do this with with, with N word sitcoms, cause like you got the Fresh Prince. You know what I mean? You got Jamie Fox. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like for me, for me, I'm a, I like comedy. I like comedy. You know I what I mean? I feel like Fresh Prince would be the next obvious choice, though. I feel like I'm mean because I don't like no. I like comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Look, but I fucks with Jamie Fox, I'm bro. Like, who do I, like? I ain't gonna Jamie throw. Fox was, I Jamie, Jamie Fox with, show was fire. I fucks with Jamie Fox. Yeah, he had a TV Fox show. It wasn't bad. Was shit. His TV show wasn't bad. Look, look, I, because mm -hmm. because it had enough comedy, but it had enough seriousness. Where like you could watch it and be like, all right, I'm actually watching the show. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I, I could fuck with, I could fuck with, I could fuck with Jake. No, what like? yeah. comedian? What comedian you like? Chris. Chris Which Tucker. one? Chris Tucker. Chris Tucker. 
I'm gonna do anything. I'm gonna watch Rush Hour. 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 I'm
the Wayans brothers. All right. I would cringe. I would cringe Martin. And I would trash Jamie. And my reasoning, my reasoning is this. Martin was more like, for me, like, I, I feel like it's more nostalgic for me. Okay. Okay. Than uh, Jamie Foxx. Like, Jamie Foxx was something I watched. Mm-hmm. But, like, I feel like I, it was just something I watched. Right. You know what I mean? It came on. You feel me? Where Martin was something. Like, me and my brothers and sisters, we watched together. You know what I mean? We mm-hmm. cracked the fuck up and laughed. You know what I mean? If I called my brothers and sisters with a Martin line from, from his show, you know what I mean? They're going to know what it is, and they're going to crack the always, fuck up. You always. know what I mean? So I, I got that nostalgic feel, feel with that. And um, with the Wayans brothers, I would say I feel the same way with the Wayans brothers as far as nostalgic goes. But for me, I'm like I'm I'm I I, I love Marlon. Like me personally, like I'm a fan of Marlon Wayans. Like you know what I mean? I respect him in many different ways. Like as far as like him being an actor, you know what I mean? Okay. The way he handled his business, the way he you know what I mean? When you like if you ever go and watch Marlon's movies, like. He, he pull on other, you know what I mean? And I don't mean to be like that, but he pull on other black people. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He, right. You know what I mean? And not just black people, like, but, because it's not just black people that he pulls on. Like, it's... it's he just it's pulls un- on people, But yeah. the people that, it's the people that he chooses, I should say. It's the, like, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like he got a movie where he gave Kelly Rowland a major role. You feel me? I mm-hmm. feel like... For me, Kelly Rowland was always the star of Destiny's Child. I like Kelly Rowland over Be- over Beyonce. Okay. Personally. Yeah, no, of course. You feel me? I felt like he was the person to give Kelly Rowland. And I don't want to say he's the only person, but like for her to be a main character in a movie, like, you know what I mean? He gave her a chance to be able to be Yeah. A little the more. Star. Yeah. Definitely gave her a chance you to feel be me? like the You know what I mean? Where she didn't forward. have to sit in the background. Thanks, Ray. So I respect that. Yeah, all right, bro. No, I respect that answer, bro. All right, so I I get it. I understand why you chose that, man. Especially yeah, with your I'm explanation about Marlon. And um, also, I've, I've also heard... I've, I, I've heard positive things about Sean Wayans. Like, you know what I mean? Where the things that I've heard about him, like, it was like, you know what I mean? It... it, it it made me, it made me, you know what I mean? It made my Freedom. respect level for him go up, up. I feel that as well. You know what I mean? So like, you know what I mean? I, I, I can't, I can't vouch for it, but you know what I mean. What I've heard, the things that I've heard, you know what I mean. All right, sure. man. Yeah, for sure, bro. But bro, good to fucking see you, man. Man, good to see you too, bro. I appreciate you coming through. Bro, I had to. You know I had to come through and show Straight love. Straight up, man. man. I wish I could have been here last week, but mm. you already know, bro. bro. This shit would have been hey, too much. Look. Uh-huh. They had the masses already to put it in motion and decided we coming back next year for Idealistic Con. So I need you there, bro. I'm gonna be there, bro. Next I'm year, straight up, bro. I'm there, definitely bro. try to be there. Um, give me the date early. Yeah, bro. No, as I'm gonna decide. The, I'm gonna decide the date in the fall, actually. So that way, yeah. people start having time, and that gives me more time to get everything together. As early as possible. So that's the plan. But yeah. But y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Ideal Tone, and I just made that known. Later. Straight like that.